So when is one of Supa's really close friends, somebody that loves her, family member, friends, somebody going to take her phone from her and tell her to stop the foolishness? Who's going to do it? Because she needs it. She needs some serious type of intervention to make her stop. She keeps putting her personal business out there and literally telling people to mind their business when she puts something explosive out on the internet. And I feel like a broken record at this point. Some people are probably saying, why are you even talking about it? Because it is irksome. It is so irksome to me. It irks the hell out of me to see this woman amass the kind of success that she has amassed and to see where she is and where she could go. But she's going to get in her own way if she does not get a hold of her oversharing. It is going to backfire. It has backfired before. She saw that a few weeks ago with that tummy tuck. And it's going to backfire again if she doesn't stop. Now, when I did my last video, I made it perfectly clear that I take no pleasure or I don't kiki like I've seen other people laughing at how things went between her and Lou. I could never laugh at that because first things first, whether you like soup or not, she is a woman at the end of the day, a woman who got her heart broke by a man that she sold into. And a lot of us can attest to that. I myself can raise both hands. And attest to the fact that I too have sown into a man that didn't deserve it. I've loved a man more than he loved me. And I got my heart broken. So that's why I could never laugh at what was happening with her. I could have never laughed at that. But now it comes a time where somebody's going to have to step in and tell her to stop. Now, I don't know if this is how she's moving is a, a, a product or a result of her being hurt or is this something more? And I'm going to get into that in a moment. Now, um, as you know, like about a week ago, Supa announced that she had broken up with Lou. Prior to that breakup, though, Supa decided to post a, um, a post of a uh, paternity test. Now, what's significant about that is prior to her posting that, weeks prior, there had been rumblings that Lou had allegedly impregnated a woman who aborted the baby and he was paying her uh, in installments because they signed the NDA. This is all, you know, allegedly. I did see the paperwork on MC Shaky Live uh, YouTube channel. Okay, so that information was out there. It was swirling around. It was out there. Then, like I said, uh, Super decided to post a paternity test um, almost about two weeks ago or so. And then she posted, don't assume, right? So <sighs> she's good for that. She posts stuff and then she tell y'all to stay out of business, right? If you say something to her like, Super, you know, ask her a question, she'll block the hell out of you. She will block you in a heartbeat. Whether you say something nice to her or something negative, Super likes to block folks, okay? She blocked me off my real page before, Okay. I just, I literally said nothing wrong. I was just congratulating her on her child, all this other stuff. She blocked me. But anyway, a little, maybe about almost two weeks ago, Super decided to post this paternity test. And like I said, she said, don't assume I'll tell you guys in two to three days. Because of that prior information out there, people naturally assume, including myself, that hell, Lou must have got somebody else pregnant out there. Then shortly after this post, her and Lou break up. So she knew where this was going and she knew what people were going to think. Now, a few days ago, she posted that she has some long lost sister. And I guess this is what the paternity test was about. Okay. That she might have a sister out there. Okay. Or her daddy had another kid. It's just all kind of crazy, but not completely far-fetched, right? Not completely because I too have a long lost sister, but that's a different story for a different time. Okay. Anyway, that's what the story is now that she apparently has some woman that is saying that they might be siblings. Okay. Because she saw super, she saw super with her father. And I guess that's supposed to be her daddy. That's the storyline right now. 
I'm not saying I don't believe it. Who am I to say? But super is just oversharing. And I think as a businesswoman, that's not a good look. So because her and Lou are now going through it, she took to Instagram most recently to post a conversation between her and Lou. And I just keep wondering to myself, as much as you block everybody, Super, why don't you block him? You good for blocking folks, but you won't block this man who is giving you the business. All right, that makes no sense to me. You will block somebody for just saying something that they think is in love, not critical or anything like that, but you won't even block this dude who supposedly is harassing you and saying mean things to you. So she posted this conversation on her Instagram the other day. She's in the blue. She said, all right, Lou, have a great day. He says, you forgot I can go get them any day. I don't know what he talked about. She says, if you can, then why you disrespecting me, dude? You got so much hate in your heart. He says, don't even have time to even play with you. I enjoyed the haunted house last night, but how about you? Shaking my head, but you keep catching Caesars. Go play, son. And she says, wow, okay. Then she says, why play with me about my epilepsy, bragging about a haunted house like he's 12? N is 33, acting like a B. That hit my heart a little. Well, I would think that it might hit your heart a lot. The fact that this is a man that you supposedly loved and loved you and that he would actually say something as cruel as or talking about your seizures. First of all, if a man is going to try to roast me or insult me, he better know how to spell. I am not about to get in my feelings over a dude that can't even spell seizures. He says seizures, like little seizures. I don't know. But anyway, that's what she put out there on Instagram. And I promise you, people were like, super, don't post that. Super, take that down. She was blocking folks left and right because... She put it out there and then when people say something to her, she blocks them and I'll never understand that. And I believe that a lot of people that are telling her to stop are people that truly support her and love her. All right, they really love her. They seem to be supporting her more in super don't do that than the people that's surrounding her. Now I know she's a grown ass woman, but seriously, if people around her don't stop her, from doing this and oversharing, I believe it's going to start to affect the business side of her, all right? Super has amassed millions of dollars in the crayon case by selling the crayon case. That's her brand. She built her brand online. She was recently featured in Essence Magazine. That is huge, that's big. But if she doesn't stop, how many more people are going to want to work with her knowing the circus that is swirling around her because she shares too much. She shares too much. And I didn't want to believe people in the comments when they kept saying things like, she's doing this for attention. She's doing this on purpose. She's doing this for sympathy. I was like, no, who would do that? Who would put such personal, like, vulnerable things out there, you know, to the public, who would do such a thing? And then I had to actually stop and say, you know what, maybe they're not wrong. Maybe this is all a ploy. Maybe that's her formula. Okay. Because you know, this day and age, these Insta celebrities and people like that, they don't think that any publicity is bad. All publicity is good when it comes to them because people are still talking about you. All right but kind of drumming up this sympathy thing. Like right now, Lou is the villain and people should have sympathy for her. All right, some kind of, I don't know. It's like, is this some kind of makeup breakup sale? You, you get it, makeup to break up, break up, break up to make up sale, I don't know. Who knows, but it is possible that Super really is doing this for sympathy and payola. I'm not, not payola. You, I'm sorry. I got the, the, I was talking about somebody else. My bad. Sympathy to gain more followers and sales. Now, if her ass come out with a sale in the next couple of days, I'm going to definitely know that all of this was about a sale. Okay. And I hope it's not because I can't imagine that it's worth it to put so much of your life out there on the internet 
and to be humiliated in the way that she has been. But again, self-inflicted. All of this is self-inflicted at this point. It really is. Because if she didn't share it with the world, nobody would know. They just wouldn't know. She has put this stuff out there. Was it really necessary to put out this conversation between her and Luke? By the way, this, it sounds like this conversation is missing something. Like it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't flow, which makes me think something was deleted or something like that. It's like something was deleted in the conversation. So I'm just going to kind of take a guess and say she deleted something out of that. So Lou says something back to her. I, I was going to post it, but I forgot to post it into this video. He said something about she's lying. Okay. She is a liar. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? At this point, I'm starting to think like those who were saying that they think they feel that Super is doing a lot of this for publicity. I hope it works out for her though. I really do because right now it, she just looking, it's looking real clownish right now. It really is. It's looking real clownish. Like as a businesswoman with a huge brand that a brand that is growing by the day, I don't imagine that she's going to sit in a boardroom with other people from other brands and big corporations knowing and, and, and carrying on like this on social media, like this is not cute. This isn't a good look. And again, anytime somebody says anything remotely constructive to her to steer her away from sharing this kind of stuff, she literally tells you to stay out of her business after she posted her business. Like it doesn't make sense. Super. Who is around you to take your phone? Get a publicist. Go back to doing the makeup tutorials when she used to go on Instagram Live. I used to love that. She would go on Instagram Live and she would just make up her face. I like that about her. That's when I started to really pay attention to her where she would just literally sit there. She would listen to music. She would do up her face. I loved watching her. She don't even really do that no more. She don't do it. And listen, I am not about, if I had a tummy tuck, I would not be wasting my tummy tuck going back and forth with no dude. I am not about to waste my good looking body on no, no good ass ninja. I'm not going to do it. And I don't understand why she is doing this. I know you cannot get over a relationship quick, fast, in a hurry, especially when you have a history with somebody, especially when you share a soul tie with somebody, y'all have a child together. I get all of that. But stop posting all of this stuff because listen, if you make that man mad enough, you see he already came back on you about your seizures, which is no laughing matter. The fact that he would go that low. I hope he ain't got no dirt on you. You need to stop because this man will mess around and try to get, uh, cause you know, custody and you'll be paying him. If you keep moving like this and super, I ain't saying this from no place of hate. I'm simply saying you got to stop because this is not a good look for a woman who could go so much further in her brand. She could, you could go so much further in your brand super, but you got to stop moving like this. This is not, this, this is not the ghetto. You are in the big leagues now and you got to start moving like that because this kind of behavior will only take you so far. And trust me when I tell you, most of the people following you, they're not buying the crayon case. They're looking at the mess. They're looking at the mess. They're not following you because they love you. They're following you for the mess. So just stop. Just stop. Stop posting everything that happens in your private life when you are now a public figure, you don't owe anybody any of this. And I wish somebody would take this woman's phone, take her phone from her, get her a publicist, seriously. And just go and just enjoy your glow up, girl. Go and enjoy your glow up. 